Hey everybody, today I want to share something with you that could kill you. Just watch. So I'm sure I signed some sort of non-disclosure agreement at some point, so I have to be a bit vague with this, but uh, about two years ago, I think it's been now, I was approached by a television production company that was wanting to make one of these like real life TV kind of things about homesteading. And they were considering bringing me in as one of their like experts for the show. And I realized pretty quickly that this was just some nonsense Hollywood junk and I didn't want to be a part of it. Part of the reason was they were desperate to dramatize every single little thing that there could be, including spiders. They really wanted me to explain just how deadly it could be that, that a homesteader at any given moment could turn something over and find a black widow spider and they could get bit and they would die. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we just step on them. <laughs> and I, and I, I think that was kind of the tipping point where they decided I wasn't the guy for their show and I realized they weren't the show for me and I've ever since just deleted the emails that I get from these people. So. Come on in here, Jennifer, and let's show people the uh, the deadly black widow that, that we are all supposed to run and hide from. I just saw one a minute ago. I know she's down here. There she is, right under this clump of grass. You ready? Boy, she does. Look, she wants nothing to do with me. She's going to look. They had a different bug jump out at me, scared the living poo out of me. Can you see down in there at all? And look, there's her egg sacs. They've already hatched. Damage is done. Look, she just wants nothing to do with it. There she is. You see her? Come on. Let's show everybody here. There you go. See, there's the spot. That's what everybody looks for on the Black Widow is the uh, the red, there it is. Can you see that at all? Anyway, point is, you know folks, we all know that what goes on television is dramatized. And we need to not fall prey to all the ridiculous things that they try to show us on TV. She's coming out. Yeah. She's had enough of you, she's trying to come out. You were saying? <laughs> I think I opened up another spot for her there. All right, so look, any Watch given, yeah, any given day, um, I'm a live and let live kind of person. Uh, but this is right underneath our rose bush. My kids come over here all the time uh, to smell this, and quite honestly, um, I got too many other places that the kids play out outside. I've got nowhere safe. I feel like I can put her. So. Uh, she's already hatched out her eggs somewhere. There's already dozens of babies that are going to, uh, propagate and mama here, she's just going to have to go. So, uh, we'll take off the camera from that and I will take care of business and that's it. So I saw that and it reminded me of this funny little story from back there when this TV show wanted me to tell you that, I mean, they were literally categorizing this along with coyotes. You know, they want to make it sound like coyotes were coming up on the front doorstep and as soon as you came outside with your morning coffee, the coyotes were going to eat you. And it was just ridiculous, uh, the amount of things that people put into it. Now, I understand that there are real things out there like arachnophobia. It is literally the, the uh, what's the word for it, unrational fear of spiders. Um, which my wife, who's filming the video, uh, it kind of suffers from. So kudos to her for getting through that. So I, I totally understand that's a real thing, but at the end of the day, we just sat here and messed with this spider for two minutes and then dispatched of it. So yeah, you gotta be careful, but you need not put all the fear and drama into it. So uh, let's try to bring reality uh, into the actual world here and not rely on reality TV to lie to us on what reality is. I wanna ask you to go down in the comments below and tell me, what do you see as the honest to goodness, most difficult 
or dangerous threat that you have on your property? Is it black widows? Is it coyotes? Is it wildflower? Is it other natural disasters? Maybe snakes or other predators or whatever. Tell me down below, what do you actually see as the biggest threat on your property? Maybe it's tomato hornworms or squash bugs. You're just gonna have to tell me what you think. For me, it's probably the heat because the heat is what makes it so that I don't want to come outside and manage the whole situation. It makes me not want to tend the garden. So the heat discourages me from actually going out and working the field, working the property like it needs to. So that's, that's probably on the top list for me. And it's not, you know, the heat can be a very deadly and dangerous thing if you don't manage yourself properly, but really it's just the discouragement that it provides against me from doing the work. So. You know, off the top of my head, that's coming at least at the toward the top of my list, if not number one. So leave your comment down below what actually is a real threat to you and your homestead, wherever you are. Thanks so much to all of our patrons who make it possible for me not to have to go on TV and lie like an idiot to make people's shows work. And thanks to all of you for taking the time to watch and comment down below. If it weren't for the community, there really wouldn't be any point in making these videos. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.